All right, so now we're gonna do a analysis of payments to unauthorized suppliers. This is to test the validity of payments to authorized suppliers by using uh, the database uh, of authorized supplier um, database, and we're gonna cross match them to make sure that they are not there are not rec there are no records without authorization. We're gonna find some. And we're gonna see how this is done. All right, let's move this out of the way. Uh, let's create a little uh, screen for this. And we'll start with 3L and let's go into our idea project. I'm gonna close this. And since it is suspected that there are payments to unauthorized suppliers, we are gonna do a uh, union based on a common key. Let's verify that we in fact have a common key. This accounts payable has a supply number. Let's make sure that the authorized supplier um, has also a supplier number. So yeah, we do have a supplier number that can be used for both purposes. Um, in fact, both of them are, let's, let's make sure this field statistics, this uh, supplier number is a character on the accounts payable. How about this? On the authorized supplier addresses, if we go to the field statistics, uh, the the supplier number is also a character, or we could have gone to the modification or the field manipulation uh, properties, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so having done this, we are gonna start joining the databases. So we are gonna make sure that we have the accounts payable database as the um, active database, and we're gonna go to the analysis tab and go to the relate uh, group by doing a join of databases, making the primary database to be the accounts payable and selecting the second database um, to be the supplier, the supplier, authorized supplier database. I'm going to press OK. Once we do that, we're going to specify the the fields, the matching fields, and the matching fields should be supplier number one and supplier number, and that automatically does it for us. Uh, they're not composite keys, so that will stay as that. Um, make sure that that is also done the same way. And we want to make sure that we select all records in the primary file, all records in the primary file, and only those that match both, right? <sighs> there are um the reason why we're doing this is so that we can see which records do not have an authorization now having said that having done that we are going to call this supplier verification and we are not going to analyze it just yet. So we're just going to press OK according to what this is asking us to do. So let's go ahead and press OK. So now we have all the payments, right? And then the supplier name that is authorized. Uh, so all of the payments that are authorized are going to be here, uh, right? And we have about, we should have about 999 transactions. Some of them are not going to have a an authorization which would mean that this this the records or the, the data that's coming from the second table would be blank if there's no matching records then this data would be blank uh, so there's one two three four five six seven eight nine records that are not that are not um that are not matching and so we need to analyze those all right so now we need to look at the history of our transactions to see what happened in our joint database. And we'll see that there were nine primary records that were not matched. So the next thing that we will do is we are going to do an analysis or we're going to reconcile the control uh, amounts for those, um, for those, for both the amount and for the total previous year. To do, to do this, we have to go to the analysis tab and then use under the categorize, we will use the summarization 
uh, and we're gonna select uh, supply number, supplier number as the fields to summarize, and we will select cha 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 cha. Well, we're not gonna select any of those, uh, and then we're gonna click fields. Uh, where are the fields? Okay, and so we're gonna make sure that we have both the total previous year as our analysis. So let's press OK, and that should uh, save it. Let's make sure that we save this output as supplier analysis, analysis control total. Let me make sure I save that. Uh, and this is, this is done correctly. All right, so now we have the total previous year, right, under the supplier number. We have the transactions that they're supposed to amount to, M100, right? The authorizations are supposed to be zero, yet there's more than that. So we are gonna do a cross analysis uh, really quickly. First, let's go ahead and do the, the field statistics for this. Let's generate this. Um, it looks like my previous year authorizations were 29 million and some change, yet my accounts payable payments were actually 39. And in the control amount, this 29 million does not correlate to the total of $30 million that were supposed to be um, created. So something, something is wrong, meaning that uh, we have stuff that is not authorized at all. Uh, so there's about a million dollar or about $500,000 that are not included. So um, let's go ahead and pause this for a minute. Okay, continuing, the assignment is going to ask us to do further analysis on why we have a discrepancy between the 29 millions and what we had done before, right? This was not matching our verification. So what we're going to do is we're going to print screen this to be part of our uh, solution, and we're going to paste it in our document that we are going to turn in. And this will be under the last payment is to 3L. Um, let me close this. And we go back to case where idea and the assignment. We are going to go ahead and close this now. We're going to look at the supplier verification. And we will uh, do an analysis for duplicate keys by making sure that we are uh, detecting duplicate records uh, with which key. We're gonna define what key we're gonna use. So let's use the supplier number as the key and that's perfect, right? Press okay as the key. We're not gonna have any other criteria. We're just gonna press output the duplicate records. And let's save this under cha 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 chan authorize supplier duplicate key record. So duplicate uh, records. So well of course uh, pause it. Okay guys I had to use the wrong data set. So let's make sure that we are looking at the authorized supplier address, right? That's the file that contains the authorizations. Uh, we'll do a duplicate key uh, detection with uh, duplicate records. Let's call this um, uh, duplicate specifically. It says that we should call authorized supplier duplicate keys. And then we'll define the key to be the supplier number. Press OK and press Yes. Um, and then in this case, we'll find that one, one record has the mat cash and then which products. So one of these 
one of these records, right, was dropped because uh, it is duplicated, and that should not be the case. And according to this, so let's go ahead and print screen this. And that is the reason why we're missing $482,000. That's part of the explanation. So let's make sure that we are uh, pasting that in our findings right here, second screen. So this is one of the few ones that's going to have more than one. Um, all right, next is going to, it's asking us to close all the databases and extract all the unmatched records using methods explained in earlier exercises, right? So what we're going to do is basically close here uh, and close there. Where are the, where is the joint? Let's close this. And we were looking at the summary of this joint. This is a supplier verification. Let's go back to the supplier verification where we had the eight fields. Let's look at the supplier name. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a direct extraction or we could simply um, do a, a criteria, right? Where it says, uh, give me anything that is, give me all of those that are blank. And so that should give me all of those that are blank, that do not have a supplier number one. And this, when you summarize it, this should give you a $517,000 that are unauthorized. So there you find that there is, let me save this. I should have saved this to, um, I should just done a direct extraction from this. Let's just do a direct extraction. And we call this um, unauthorized transactions, right? The quick way is to do the review on the side. Unauthorized payments. And then I just save it. Whatever is in there, I get saved automatically and not just press OK. So unauthorized payments are here. I'm going to print screen it and put it on my. 3G, and then we're done with that requirement. Yay.